And, uh, and another zero mana time trick. So, not scared at all. We have a lot of fucking possibilities here. I love it. Oh, right. I remember this. Ah, you too. Let, 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 let's see. He's right here. Dear YouTube audience and welcome to a new Legends of Runeterra ranked video. I'm of course the one that loves you all the most. It's a love giant. Today we are playing something off meta. Shocker, I know, Pikachu face. The thing is, we are playing, we have played um, Echo Jinx, which is ranked currently. That's what people want you to play. That's what Mastering, Mastering Runeterra tells you to play. Ranked 20 or 22nd most popular deck. We are playing Mono Echo. I have seen that in the last um, opens in Asia Pacific, in Europe, in America. I think it was present in every single shard and it's just so fucking good. You're gonna see how good that deck does. Only 29 matches currently. Um, obviously, I think there was like a little reset in terms of stats because the 22nd, 22nd most popular got 649. Play Echo. Mono Echo. It's the most fun I've ever had in this game, okay? Just gonna say that right now. We're gonna go into the tech tech after the games, but just a little rundown. Warmio, you know the drill. Win rate of 31.03%, which doesn't sound too good, but again, that's a little... It's a tiny sample size of 29 matches, so don't let that deceive you, my friends. Um... Bad matchups against uh, Lurk, apparently, and uh, Vaults of uh, Nasus. We're gonna see about that, however. But yeah, um, again, not a, not much to say. Um, we're just gonna go into the games, see for yourself, and then at the end, we're going into the deck tech and a little rambling also on why I think Jinx, uh, Jinx Echo is overrated. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the games and uh, see you hopefully in the deck tech afterwards. It could be problematic. Uh, we go first, so they could miss a lurk. I definitely gonna be keeping the myst mystic shot. The mystic shot. Ah, the drop border. Feels bad, man. Okay. Oh yeah, I take the echo. We got heatless resurrection as well. Heatless. I wasn't the Rex I right off the rib, so that is one good thing. Double drop border, and that's really what I wanted. <laughs> nice day. If you're into coughing. Two drop borders there is never good. <laughs> ah. ah. Okay, that helps. Um. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius, punk buddy. I have heatless. Let's go, Bakayim. Um, the only thing that I should be worried about is blood in the water, but that is shouldn't be an issue. We have time trick that we get from the strike here. Actually, also the the pike spell obviously is a problem, which I think is fast speed. Man, I'm good. So that sucks a little bit. Mm-hmm. No lurk. Nice. 
Ooh. Double time trick? Yeah. Yeah, in fact. Absolutely is also what we call that. Another heatless? Sure. Oh, right. I, I remember this. Yeah, do you? I love it when things converge like that. Because we're definitely going to be losing uh, the Echo next turn. Obviously. Can't make it more obvious than that, right? We must tell our stories, lest they be forgotten. Don't really want to lose her, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Right. Nah, skip that. Are endless. What? Why? Why not with. Well, thanks for the time trick. I take it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, you have... No. Blood in the water is five mana, I yeah. am. Blood in the water, my bad. Head and topside. Head and topside. Oh, maybe he has blood in the water now. That could be a thing. But I mean, I have Heatless, I have Chrono Break, and I have another Echo. And another, and another zero mana time trick. So, not scared at all. We have a lot of fucking possibilities here. I love it. Oh, right. I remember this. Ah, you too. <laughs> you kill my echo, I use heatless. Yeah, they could have right of right of negation. There is a one-off apparently in the most popular list, so there's that. And either he doesn't have it. This is my future. Or he just doesn't want to use it. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh he's dead. I think. Ah, Echo. Oh, Echo. You silly goose. That's a thing. Heimerdinger... Nora. Hmm... I'm reading all we only shows me Jace. Let's see Nora. There it is. Uh yeah, that's gonna get tossed. I'm gonna Yeah, gonna keep that for a potential Nora. Double Bakai, okay. A little bit too much, but I take it. Nice. Um, yeah, going engine prep. Sounds good. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing on turn one for them, except for the usual Pytos and stuff like that, Pytos Quietus and stuff. But nothing uh, unit wise. So that's good.
passed away? Um, I'm gonna skip. I mean, I can try again. The waters give you life, child. Sure. That's a snap pick. That's a Pokemon snap pick. <laughs> Fuck, dude. But he's only, he only has three cards. Granted, we only we also only have three cards, but... I think he has, like, mon minimal... More minimal things to actually play here. Out of those three, because he just threw... I don't know. It, it seems unnecessary. I have a fucking Echo that you can kill with two ping spells. He should have kept at least one... But he just, like, threw it. He threw a fucking Mystic? No, he didn't throw- uh, He didn't- th He threw a group- Poison Dart and a Group Shot already. It seems, again, unnecessary, I think. Unseemly. I'm gonna play the Castaway. Huh? Huh? Well, I'm gonna end turn then. It's not so good. Ah, bad news, Brown. Um, I don't have anything to protect Echo with, so... Castaway and he's not leveled yet. Panapin is good. Panapin is really good to protect protect Echo. Head loggerheads, eh? Life is everything. And he's deaf. <laughs> he is deaf. <laughs> We're both still at 20 HP each. That's also something to behold. I was just looking at the deck list, but it's mostly spells. But yeah, no Rite of Negation in hand, so don't really want to play Echo. Especially if he's not leveled yet. If, they, if we have, like, if we get another Bakai or anything that predicts even Fural or Ancient Prep or something like that, Scrying Sense, then I'm definitely going to be playing that. Chronomancer would slow us down a little bit because I can play Echo right after. Ah, they also run Mini Morph. But yeah, even more reason to... Level Echo before we play him. So we get the Chrono Break. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's something we can do. Mm, he tapped under Vengeance and Mini Morph. Life is the Never had luck. Never needed it. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. It's gonna be like, what? I mean, he also doesn't, he doesn't, he just drew into nothing so far as well. Oh, that's a beautiful thing here. Let's see if he throws his second pink spell. Yep. Sure does. Let's go. Now I just need a predict spell or something. Okay. Well, no, but okay. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Breathe. Breathe it in, boys. Annoying. Oh yeah, 
have another one. <sighs> Boy. Shitty draws here. Well, that was a predict. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Echo. Then I'm gonna make sure that he uses whatever he has in hand. Maybe even use Quicksend. If he can't remove uh, Echo now. Uh, yep. What's up, show me? Like in the new board? A little front heavy, but yeah, I guess it's all right. Another Conco boy. Yeah, we we like both of us are drawing shit what at the moment. Below. Ah, here we go. The future is whatever I, I make. make it. Mm, yeah. Mm, actually, I don't need the time trick this round. So, yeah. Just let that go through. And shoot that down. Now we're go Now we're playing. Fuck yeah. He does resurrection also next turn. I don't know if we can double. Can, can we get double echo? We absolutely can. Double echo. Double time. Double time. Double zero mana time trick. Woo! It's happening, boys. I don't give a shit. Who cares, dude? I don't. I'm just gonna panel paint this echo then. This is my future. Hmm. Persistence is key. Uh wait, one yeah. Gone. Oh, yeah, again, shitty draws, actually. <laughs> Give me the time trick. Come on. Nice. All coming back to me now. Not so nice. Still good. Okay. That can help. Absolutely, especially if you attack like this. Yep, there's the chrono break. Oh, yeah, it doesn't disable the keywords. Never mind, I can't get the time trick th this way. Ah, silly me. To speak and be heard. That is true power. Would really love it if you would tap under mini morph mana. That would be kind of nice. That would be neat. Yeah, filling up the board. No, no Nora, no hammer so far. So yeah, his draws are not the best. But also, I can't really push through. I kind of need from the pilt and castaway. I kind of needed um, the overwhelm one. That would have helped. Yep, yeah, sure. Okay. You do you, my friend. But actually, good that we have tough. Otherwise, he would have used it on Echo. And then this Chrono Break wouldn't be as devastating as it is probably going to be. Also, two cards left. We only have one. But again, we have the Chrono Break. We can use that. We lose uh, his entire board. I don't. Because I'm just going to get it back with Chrono Break. And maybe we get another one if we are lucky with Time Trick. Ooh, 
la 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 let's see. He's right here. <laughs> you know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. Come back here. This is my future. Yeah, blocking Echo, obviously. Mm, okay, I don't get the time trick this way. Maybe I will, though. <laughs> See you a few minutes ago. Ah, I love Echo. Oh, that's what you had. Alright then. I See ya. My own stunts. GG. And another time trick, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That one's for you, Zon! Zon! Solid. Jack said the deck that shouldn't win but always beats me. Somehow. Where in the fuck is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Um. I'm gonna keep prescience. Ah, Jesus, I had it. There it is. That's a terrible curve. No ancient prep, no Bakai. Yet. If we're lucky, we draw into one. But that looks pretty bad. Feral Prescience, obviously, to for like a surprise level up. Or just to dig for Chrono Break, but usually I only use it in the beginning. Is he roping? We're finding, we're finding out. We're gonna find out. Apparently not. Okay. E back. Take the pass. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that looks. That doesn't look good. <laughs> His name is Gin Drinker. I just realized. Um. Cease. Yeah, momentous choice. Than top side. We could use Risky Venture. But <laughs> is it worth it against the 1 3? Just for the coins? This is my time. Ah, uh, just looks bad. <laughs> just gonna say it how it is. But I can actually just go Echo here. We have uh, the Heatless Resurrection. So if he wants to kill him. He can, but I can just resurrect him. So I technically have six echoes. <clears throat> uh, Jack and Zed can both come down next turn. No time like the present. Move it along, man. He's <laughs> zero out of four. Well, I have one in my hand here, but that's about it. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I should have just played him. And at least get, like, the time trick, so I have, like, two out of four. As I, as I said, risky venture. That's why we have Heatless. I see, we could, we could draw into Castaway. We can also not. Um, Risky Venture is four mana, I am. Yeah, that's the one I want, actually. 
this all we got? Hey, I've done more with less. At loggerheads, eh? Hey. Um, okay. No. -uh. No. -uh. Not gonna happen, buddy. Bury me at sea. Um. Pass. Now I'm actually a little bit more concerned about bar knuckles. And he has some stuff, but he doesn't necessarily need to play anything here. So he has a two coins, so one additional mana, basically. <laughs> Risky Venture was slow speed, yeah, okay. Apparently, tag out is not in the most um, prominent list, but I would still like to know how much that actually is. But I think it's f four mana. I think. This is my future. Uh, not looking good. I'm not too sure if that's actually your future, my dude. Because it doesn't look too spicy around here. But let's see. Maybe we can predict into some shenanigans here. Would be one, that would be two. Let's see. Another time trick, I take it. That's one. Okay, that's a Pakai, that's good. Oh, right. I remember this. Yeah. One, two. Mm, yeah, Chromancer. It's all about the torque. So Chromancer is three, that is four. We also got another Resurrection. So we got that going for us. We can block everything here so far. And we got another Echo in hand. So it doesn't look... It looks bad, but not too bad. Who's bad? Nice. Uh, uh, mm, 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 skip. With the power of time. The possibilities are endless. They sure are. Okay. Our stories, our struggles have built this empire. Left illusion. You know what's coming. Pause. Ha! Skip. Boys of the Risen Proc. Tomorrow. There aren't any strike spells uh, in the most popular list, so I'm just gonna go by that notion. Don't touch it. Don't cease. Okay. I try. Effectively four mana. Gotcha. Mm, he killed one Echo, so I could just play Heatless, get double Echo, get double Time Trick. I mean, that's zero mana, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. Appa apparent, uh, also, if he has Tag Out, but I think if he would have it, he already would have played it. So I'm just going to go on a limb and say he doesn't have Tag Out in the deck. So that's probably like the most um, popular list that he's playing here. Well, I know if your entire hand, basically, at this point. What? Okay. Uh, okay. Right? Or Chrono Break? Calling it now. I'm just gonna test him for Heatless. I'm gonna open him up with Heatless next turn. Drop Border, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's obviously not that, so it's definitely going to be Chrono Break. We got two chances, however, to get that, which is good. Um, depends on what he plays, but 
I think I'm gonna go for another Voices. That sounds pretty good. Because that literally removes everything now. Tap under um, Chrono Break mana, but again, that thing is probably gonna make sure that I can't even play it to begin with. So I'm just gonna attack like this. I'm gonna keep Voices back. For obvious reasons. And he definitely has to block one of the Echoes. Otherwise, that is still lethal. These two punch for 18, the two Echoes. Won't need tools for this. Hey! Found some flotsam. It almost sounded German. Won't need tools for this. <laughs> Okay. No fixing that. So I search obviously for Chrono Break and I also search for Um Right. That's my main shits here. Main focus. Gotta focus. Mmm <clears throat> skip. Mmm, skip. Good one. Okay. Ah, I could have played the uh, drop order. I have double uh, chrono, br uh, double time trick again. So two chances again, like next turn, double chances again to search for chrono break. So one is going to get destroyed by him. So I guess I... So I guess I block with one of... Or both Echoes? I mean, I have another Echo also in hand, so there's that's the thing. Everyone just dies to this one also, which which kind of sucks. But we have like 18 HP, so we are sitting comfortably on our HP total here. Real good to see you. You made choices. If he has another one of these, that would be a problem. Uh, yeah. Going for one time trick here. So I could predict and then draw if I find a time trick. That is also a thing that can happen. I'm just gonna use this and get it denied. Actually, yeah, 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 get it denied, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We all know he picked yeah. We all we all, we all knew that. Skip. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. Okay. That's like one card that we don't know. So that is a good thing here. No Jack, no Zet. So far. Let's see if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we would have gotten Echo back first and then Voices basically would have died. At the top order, I mean. Probably. Just 
Fist of Mira. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to keep Scrying Sense. Why not? That could help out. Um, <laughs> Fist of Mira, where are you? There you are. <clears throat> oh, yeah, standard, standard stuff, obviously. It's called Bakaim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Chronomancer. We swing next turn. Butcher? Nah, that one. Okay. Sure. Well, we can also Scrying Sensor or just Mystic Shot. Which I think I want to do. If he doesn't block here, and he won't. Shocker. Take the shot or lose the chance. Um... Okay. Not sure why, but all right. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> that was weird. Two, three, four. That's a level. <clears throat> Still can't block this one, but yep, 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 yep indeed. Sick. Um, yeah, I'll take the voice. Time. The possibilities are endless. Oh, I, I want to play. I was about to say, what are you doing, step bro? Hmm. Yeah, I can let it go through. Never needed it. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. We got a whole ple plethora of things to use up here, but I definitely want to use another. Ah, eh, don't want to go double predict to get like the zero mana time trick. Maybe. Sounds kind of good. If he's good, he's not blocking here. If he blocks, then I will probably double predict. Okay. Clever. Cleverly done. Sadly. I should have I should have played ancient prep last turn. That was a bit sucky. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. Piltdown and Castaway also would have been a thing. That would be good. But obviously also depends on what kind of... <clears throat> uh, ...thing we're gonna get. In. Uh, what kind of weapon? Wimp. Mm, Fist could be leveled here, but I definitely want, don't want to take this three damage, which we will a little bit more even. Mmm. Let's do this. Got the heatless. Okay. Got a good feeling about tomorrow. Pretty much. Um I got all the time in the world.
Well, with that, I actually could have just blocked with Echo and then use Heatless next turn. Mm. Well, yeah, I got Heatless next turn. Three, four, five. That works with the... That works with voices. Which means I can use Heatless and voices. And in one turn. That can happen. But well, that's actually no feasible way for him to actually remove my echo unless he has Noxion for War, which is not in the list here. Yeah, so I don't think he can actually remove him. So I think I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna check for something a little bit more spicy. Which I'm unable to find, I guess. Um, I can't go double voice, so yeah. Can't go double voice of the Risen. <coughs> that is. There are two pings to the Nexus, which is Pirouette and Barb Chain that he can use. Both are slow speed, however. Ah, warning shot is also a thing. Okay, that's the pirouette. Ah, fuck. Forgot it's also stuns. Okay. Okay, that's a problem. So we don't get the time trick, but I can definitely open swing. This one doesn't die to anything, so voices is also safe. Yep. Okay. Mm, yeah, is that on flare? That's one to the nexus. Yeah. Probably a uh, warning shot. Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's not do that again. Good idea. Okay. Galio Garen. Uh, that could be a problem. Um, simply because he also runs Ionia, so he could have a bunch of... Uh, yeah. He could have a bunch of, like, the knights and stuff like that, and that would obviously hinder me on playing uh, Chrono Break. So I have to play around that, probably. There is no Garen list here anywhere. <laughs> Bard Garen? Garen Nico? Maybe Bard Garen is like the... Uh, no. I guess it's just elites, I would assume. Looks like it. I guess so, yeah. With a little bit more... Focus around Galio, probably. Are you just gonna lose that? Sure, okay. Definitely taking the Echo. That's two. That's three. Potential Echo hit is four. We get we have Heatless. <coughs> Let's see. Yep, that's the level. That is the level, my friends. When is Galio coming down? Seven? Yeah. Okay. Garen is five. Uh never had luck, never yeah. needed. Okay. Mmm single combat actually on him would work. Nice. Oh, right. I remember this. Leveled. Tomorrow. Same. I think I'm just gonna double attack here. See what I've learned? 
I mean, he yeah, he uses their lives if he, if he blocks, but he's also down to one, so... Crisis avoided, basically. I'm gonna play Castaway, so Heatless Resurrection is, like, uh, down to three costs. Uh, no. We didn't snap pick that, so maybe it's not... Chrono Break. Well, I'm not kidding, of course it's fucking Chrono Break that he picked there. Um... Hmm. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. Oh, if it's he's a Heatless Resurrection, you're a bitch. <laughs> Bury me at sea. Okay. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. So a bunch of interruption spells also for him. Hmm. Oh! Lovely. Right is good here. Right is good. Because if he picked... Um, if he picked... Uh, Chrono Break, which is pretty likely. I kind of doubt it, though, because he would have snap picked that, I'm pretty sure. Um, we can just deny that. We can deny the deny. That's the niceception. So that should be the last fucking... Oh, there's one more possibility for him to have tag out. Um, there's the right... Yeah. But now it's obvious that he has Chrono Break uh, denied, so... Good Never thing we have Chrono Break. Also, I haven't found Chrono Break yet, so there's that. <laughs> I mean, I can lose Echo here, because I have Heatless. And that is safe now. Oh, there's the Chrono Break, okay. I do my own stunts. Let's go. Attack like this first. Get the time trick. Uh, we need 7 mana up for um, Chrono Break right, or Heatless and right. Which is now Chrono Break and right. Oh, it's, yeah, it's three mana. Mm. Feels bad, man. Oh, or more. Okay. Sick. All coming back to me now. Uh, can't play it now. Mm, so, yeah. Some will ascend. All will become legends. For king and country. We can go double heatless actually. In this timeline, we're sure to save Ikathia. I think that's good. If I block here with Echo. That sounds good. So two of them are deny spells that he has in hand. We know that much. So there's that. Ah! You made choices. Well, like there must be not. Eh. No. <laughs> Not even gonna try. <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. Got another echo, sure. Oh, right. I remember this. All right. 
A little bit careful here, but that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Man, I'm good. Speak as one. So you either block Echo with the 3 3 or with Garen and lose him in the process. Watch, watch it. Okay. Watch him deny that one. Yeah. You fuck! <laughs> Shit! Wait. Wait, though. Nah, that should still be fine, actually. That should, that should still be fine. Mm, how, wait, how much is the deny thing? It's one, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. What's the other one that he picked then? It's not heatless. It's not mystic shot. That's highly weird. Actually, I'm just gonna attack, I guess. Let's fully commit. So he definitely blocks here. Mm, we also get our normal cost for our spells. So either we go into a chrono break or I just mystic shot. I could mystic shot face, but I think I'd rather mystic shot Garen to get rid of him. Okay, skip. All coming back to me now. I could, but I'm gonna get rid of him. Ah, oh, okay. And now we have this fuck face again. <clears throat> mm. I'm not really scared, actually. I'm just gonna go heedless. Got it. The stalling potential of that deck, though. Jesus Christ. I'm really feeling it! Ah, deep. Okay. Where are they ranked at? 15, okay. Do do do, keep in the Bakaim. That blocks into literally. Yeah, Dread Ratchers blocks into also Dead Bloom, Sea Scarab, not as much. Got that double, though. Uh, let's go Bakaim. Let's go triple Bakaim. Why not? Turn two. That could be a Sea Scarab. So, just gonna go for another one. Castaway's good. Ah, uh, maybe Chronomancer would have been better here. I definitely want to draw into that, that's why I'm not going to play another Bakaim. And we also have to level up actually in hand with Scrying Sands into Bakaim. So depending on what he plays here, which could be a Deadbloom Wanderer, that would result into a Bakai, probably into Scrying Sands. Yup. Yup. Or actually, yeah, that makes more sense. Ooh, yeah. 
But this looks fun too. Go on. Oh, heavy metal? Yeah. Okay. Ah, feels bad, man. But we still have the Heedless Resurrection enabled with this. So we got that. So top that. Another Echo. That's another four damage to the face. And now the tossing begins. Grasp. Couldn't grasp the situation that he actually has Grasp in the deck. Uh, Do we go Chronomancer? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Golden Glory! 26, 25, okay. He doesn't have anything for one mana to kill Echo with, so I'm gonna go 8 head. Play him. He he pulls with Jaw Hunters. Yeah. Back in the game. Back in the game. Uh get him down to two. Fuck's sake. Well, like, you know, drop him down to two and then like the two attack and then levels up. I survive, I get the zero mana time trick. But no. God damn it. But you're looking at the <laughs> army of Bakais here. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Definitely has to block here, yep. Mm, undergrowth? Probably. Not even. Okay. Let it go through first. Gonna play the time trick into uh, Piltover and Castaway. Okay, still not scary. Here's a big one. Oh boy! Really? Right. I remember this. Really? <laughs> the double drop border. This is for Zon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the rake, dude. Hey, I've done more with less. The fucking rake. Nice. Okay, getting a little bit scary with the with the twenty two cards left. So that could be a Nautilus, but if it is, then he can't toss. So there's that. We'll see who feasts tonight. Oh, that actually kind of sucks. Um, what was it? Less health. Um. Okay, I have another one. So. Not the biggest problem in the world here. Ah. If it ain't my favorite time traveling genius, punk buddy. Well, I'd be weirded out if, if I, I wasn't. So he pulls with them. We still have Scrying Sands. Okay. I kind of want to set up for the lethal here, to be honest. Or for next turn, rather. Mm hmm. Oasis sounds good. But it actually doesn't matter because I get the time trick anyways. <clears throat> le -le -le let's see. Skip. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. <sighs> There it is. Okay. We look ahead, we know how to prepare. Okay. And we are prepared now. 
You'll learn the day. You'll learn the day. I just think I take with everything here. This is my time. So if he kills Echo, yeah, we just go double Echo with Heatless into Chrono Break here. We also have enough for the rake, which is good. The water rises. I could take heatless to get like triple echo, but I don't think we need to be that uh, unseemly. Yep. Okay. You will feast soon enough. The depths take you. Is one mana okay? Still attacking with... Ah, uh, wait. That deals a little bit more damage. Um... Mm, it just blocks with Nautilus, however. Puts him down to five, though. Ah. That kind of sucks. Gotta do it, though. Do you hear the call? Bad reception down here, dude. That's another heedless. Had longer heads, eh? Same. Well, blocking the voices probably with the 7-7 seven -seven Devourer, I would assume. But yeah, he kind of has to block everything except this one. I will not rest. I was about to say, that's a little bit risque. But yeah, this one, ah, Nautilus just... Nautilus is really good here. It just makes sure that everything is discounted next turn. Uh, he has to just open attack next turn, actually. Nah, my good boy Nautilus, you're fighting on the wrong side. Drag them down. down. Double drop border, <laughs> which is not possible. Skip. Uh... Can't be mad to losing to Deep, actually. Bad manner doesn't give me the GG. <laughs> Throw him in the volcano! <laughs> ah, that 1330 Nautilus, though. Too thick for our good old good boy Echo. Shen Garen. Garen? Garen. Okay. Um, I think I can mulligan everything here. That looks good. That's a good curve. Shen Garen, there we go. 
Uh, they have double the nine. Potentially. Um. Okay. I'll take Chronomancer. Nothing on turn one. Always love to see it. Kinky Student is also a thing for them, so we have to be aware of that thing. Next turn into Castaway? That sounds good. Let's go Ancient Prep. When we look ahead, we know how to prepare. Don't want to lose tempo here, just want to keep on pushing. There is the Kinky Student. Might block into Chronomancer. Open swing. So he can't play anything else. Got him. Okay. Let's not use the mana. Ah, oh, Fisherwag is good. Absolutely, yeah. So that's two. That's three. That's four. Okay. So we got the level for Echo, basically. Do I take the pass? I take the pass. Ah, feels bad, man. Okay, let's go three. Mm. Can skip that. My heart and sword for Demacia. Form up is a thing, but I'm just gonna open swing with everything here. He's probably gonna block here with the Jarvan or there. Yeah, with the Jarvan, with the Garen. <clears throat> but that is alright. Um, guess we can go another Echo. I love it when things converge like that. Oh, you too. He could um, actually. Single combat here with uh, Garen, which would kind of suck because that would remove Echo, but also remove him. So he's probably not going to do that. Let's see. All coming back to me now. Time trick. I also could have saved that for one turn, actually. Maybe that would have been better for next turn. Oh yeah, just gonna... Okay. <laughs> just gonna surrender. Got him! I mean, I also would have only, uh, only attacked with the 4-1 Overwhelm and Echo. Zon! Uh, but yeah. Apparently it was the right decision, though. Hmm. I heard the tales. Nora v Diego. Uh... Search for Diego, I guess. There it is. It is literally the, the decks that are like on the bottom of the of the current meta list that scare me the most. Obviously, we mulligan drop border. Ooh, I was about to say maybe we get like double drop border here. That is insane, actually. That sucks. Um. Hmm. Skip. Because we got the predicts here already. Ah, uh, yeah, prepare for the pings. That's the most annoying thing about Spandle City um, Shadow Isles. The fucking ping spells, man. Like, not annoying at all. Ah, there we go. Um, uh, yeah, we can go for a time trick. <laughs> Chrono Brand. Chronomancer, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forget that fucking Scrying Sense doesn't disable the keywords. Filet Wellington. Oh, you're not scared of one damage to the face? Jesus. You're ruthless. Um... Second Echo, yes. That's four out of four. Got him leveled. Off we go. To and fro, fro and 
I'm gonna skip. Because I don't want to play Echo here. If he, yeah, taps under um, Vengeance, I'm definitely going for it. Because now we can't remove him with the removal that they, that they have. Pyatos is like the only thing that they basically have here to remove him, and that is not enough, because he has 3 HP with this. this is for Zon! Never had luck? Never needed it. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. Hmm. <laughs> Head and top side. Head and top side. Obviously, we attack like this. If he blocks here, probably this one, then yeah, he gets a little bit of HP back, but not not as much. Otherwise, if I attack with Echo first, and then with these two. Then he will get a lot of HP back, like a lot of more more HP back. I go back. Mm, if I get Chrono Break, I can play Voice into Chrono Break. That would be fucking insane. But I don't think we're gonna be that lucky. That card looks awesome, actually. Holy ballsack. To speak and be heard. That is true power. Oh, that looks awesome, actually. <clears throat> you know what's coming? The Chrono Brizzle. See a few minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, feels good, man. Aren't you the cutest thing of a day I ever did see? Top that. <laughs> ah, I love Echo. Yeah, gotta lose that. Okay. Guess you didn't check the... Okay. Thank you for the win. <laughs> no, Nora survives. <laughs> okay. Damn. Sick. Sick, my dude. Garen K. What? <laughs> National Garen Day. Why so many Garens? Not any of the ones that I actually have here in the lists, though. Um. Yeah. Garen Kale. Um, the only thing that I see here is Evelyn Kale. Uh, so closest one? No idea, actually. Not the best opening hand as well. I have no idea. Bard Garen, maybe. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Maybe not. Transgressions. Good one. Pan of pain is good. Well, I'm gonna check the Evelyn Kale one then because we probably mostly have. Ah, it also doesn't have this thing. Hmm. Block no with that, yep. Yeah. No messy. Uh, actually, this one is way better. Sure. Single combat also removes him, so... Not scared in the slightest here. Tend the fire and hope for her return. Good one. What message do you have to deliver? Hmm. Okay. That's number three. Beautiful.
Well, Echo kills everything here. Except anti -fly. Actually, yeah, still does because I have uh, Mystic Shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, Never safe. Had luck. Never needed it. Easy to save with that Z drive of yours, right? <laughs> okay. Let 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 let's swing. Mhm. Mm Saw that one coming. So I have one coming from a mile away, my dude. Heading topside. Heading top uh. Yeah. Well, you still have him. If, even if, if you kill Echo, actually, it doesn't matter. I still can protect him, however. But if you do, no problem. Heedless Resurrection is a thing. And that is also enabled thanks to Castaway. Can't use any of the time tricks, though, which kind of sucks. But... We have our predict here. Humanity's darkest hour demands my return. Blessed Mahira, you illuminate the only noble path. Let's see if he tries again. Of course he dies. He does. Of course he dies also, yeah. Um, block, kill, cease, zero mana time trick. Mm. Yeah. Got a good feeling, feeling about tomorrow. Now, even if you have Pale Cascade, that also doesn't um, doesn't change change anything here. Got the Chrono Break, okay. I remember this. Sick, sick one. Holy fire will cleanse the evil within. So playing that, stories, lest they be forgotten. we swing. Go for the Chrono Break. Sunburst could be something here. Nothing. I do my own stunts. For her alone. <clears throat> yeah, I was about to say, I'm a little bit concerned about that. What's with the GG? Dude, I have Chrono Break. Shocker! <laughs> if he really thought he was up ahead, then no, dude, no. Sad, dude. <laughs> this is my future. Man. Blocking Echo, I guess? No! Taking it. Damn. Okay, two chances for a chrono, for another chrono break. You know, deja vu isn't what it used to be. Also good. How frail mortality, how impure and wicked. And power of five. Okay, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> I'm like torn between these two, but I think Pen of Pain first is a little bit better. Yeah. Let's protect. Um. Be not afraid. Divine absolution is an end to their agony. Nice. All coming back to me now. Not that I need it now, but good to have for sure. 
<clears throat> I might need it. Our stories, our struggles have built this empire. How frail mortality, how impure and wicked. Another <laughs> okay. I do my own stunts. Raise our voices. I judge thee. Thy redemption nears. Face thy penance. Thy redemption nears. I judge thee. Nope. That ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't it. Nah, -uh, that ain't it. <laughs> Thy redemption nears. I judge thee. Nice. I was a little bit concerned if he had a rally or something that would have been a little bit pro problematic, but thankfully he didn't. Feels good. Welcome everyone to the deck tech. You've seen the games. Ah, man, that was fun. That was extremely fun. And I can now proudly proclaim Talia Malphite is not my best friend anymore. Echo is definitely my absolute favorite friend so far out of the entire fan group that i have Jax orn is a is you know i'm a, I'm a friend definitely uh Talia malphite still has a special place as well as deep as well as azir but echo is currently definitely top notch and here we go we're gonna go in the deck tech and then i'm gonna tell you why uh jinx echo is worse so i, I mean you've seen it okay so obviously echo it all, it, it's all about leveling Echo. If you don't draw your predicts, which happens sometimes, then the game can stall. And if the enemy also draws like shit, then it's still possible to win, obviously. But usually, everything here is catered to leveling Echo, getting Echo back, and all of that good good stuff. So, Echo. Echo is 4 mana. 4-2. Horrible stat line. Uh, upon strike, he creates a fleeting time trick in hand. Fleeting obviously means that it's that it disappears if you just don't use it. Time trick is my favorite card in the game. Two mana, burst speed, predict, draw one. Predict, obviously, that's the whole archetype of this one. Pick a card from among three in your deck, shuffle the deck, and put that card on top. So you you get three random cards, and then you, you basically choose that. And usually it's on top of your deck, you draw it next turn. This one draws it immediately. So draw a card, basically, for two mana. And you get to, ch to pick upon uh, uh between like three which one you want you've leveled him when you've predicted four plus times doesn't have to be on the board just has to be in the deck when i level up creates three chrono breaks in your deck obviously he goes up to a five three but that's not all my friends he also upon strike creates a fleeting zero cost time trick in hand a free card draw okay and then chrono break is also the main thing of this deck revive all allies that died this round and then you rally which is so fucking good god damn it so how do we level him we have zero mana feral prescience burst speed predict self-explanatory we can use that to if the enemy blocks and he's like okay I, I can kill that echo and then we just surprise level him up surprise pikachu face or to just predict into a time a chrono break or something we have ancient prep good for the early game obviously one mana play predict and when it counts down twice after two rounds, basically, you summon a Clockling, which is a 2-2, two, two, which is pretty good. We have Drop Border. If you see me in a prediction, you automatically summon him. She, her, her. So if you have her in, in your starting hand, obviously Mulligan it away. Uh, if you draw into it, it's bad, but it's still only only one mana. And the stat line 1-3 is not too bad. We have Forsaken Bakaya 3 off, 2-1, play, predict. If you pick a Darken or an equipment, grab me plus one, plus one. We don't have, we have, don't have either of them, so... He's got always going to be a 2-1. He's just there for the predict and for the body that he provides upon uh, in the beginning. We have a 3 off of Scrying Sense. Predict. Give an enemy minus 2, minus 0 this round up, up, upon burst speed. That's pretty good because it's uninteractable. Aspiring Chronomancer. You play, you predict. Easy 2 mana, 2-3. Good stat line. Solid. We have a 3 off of Mystic Shot because we obviously play uh, PNZ. So obviously we have Mystic Shot. Deal 2 to anything. The staple of any PNZ deck. Time Trick. 
Again, two mana, burst speed, predict, and then you draw one. The one thing that changes between the Jinx list is obviously we don't run Jinx and some of the Jinx cards. So, we have a three off of Piltoven Castaway. There's a reason why he's in this deck. When I'm summoned, you improvise. It's a 2-1 for three mana. A tune means you play him, you get one spell mana when you play him. Uh, improvise, you get, a, you get to choose between um, equipments. Can I actually look that up? Improvised Weaponry, there it is. So you can either get a Combat Reel 2-1, and upon attack you refill one spell mana, a plus 2 plus 0 Fisher Wag, which gives you Overwhelm, a two, plus 2 plus 0 Pen of Pain, which gives you Tough, which is really good for Echo, a plus 1 plus 2 Pot of Pain, which also gives you Impact, Sandstorm Amulet plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 gives you Fearsome, Shepherd's Authority gives you plus, two plus, plus 3 plus 2, but uh, unable to attack, uh, unable to block. Unable to attack would be awesome, right? Plus 2, plus 0, and quick attack, or plus 1, plus 0, upcycled Drake. Usually, we want to go either for Pen of Pain, because Tough is really good for Echo, because he's kind of frail, even at a 5-3. Or, he doesn't need Fix him up, obviously, because he already has quick attack, or obviously the upcycled Drake, because that's more attacks, that's more potential zero mana time tricks for him. Uh, okay. So, next up... In the deck, we have uh, a 2 off of Quicksand. Give an enemy minus 4, minus 0, or two enemies minus 1, minus 0 this round. Disable their positive keywords this round. Obviously makes us uh, able to block into elusives, for instance, and also just uh, make an enemy less threatening. We have, uh, obviously, Echo. We went through that. We have Rite of Negation, which is our deny. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to stop all enemy fast spells, slow spells, and skills. Also self-explanatory. Voice of the Risen, another key staple of this card. If you've leveled a champion which usually always happens with Echo. Uh, allies have plus 2, plus 0. Oh, and that stacks with multiple ones of them, obviously. And then the Heatless Resurrection. Another main staple that is obviously not in the Jinx uh, decklist. Once you've equipped an ally, that's where the Piltdown Castaway comes in. Not only is he a good uh, stat line, but he can also give you a really good equipment. But then, this card is not 5 mana slow speed, it's actually 3 mana slow speed. And then you also revive the strongest dead ally champion. What can basically happen is, you play an echo, they kill it, that usually happens. Uh, sometimes unavoidable if you don't have any, any way to protect him. He dies, you play Heatless Resurrection, and maybe you have another echo in hand even. You have Heatless Resurrection, and then you play Heatless, you have an echo out, and then you play, or you play the echo from hand, and then you play Heatless Resurrection, have another echo on the board. It's so fucking good. And then when you attack, it's two, uh, when they attack, it's two zero mana time tricks, which means seven, no wait, three, six, seven, eight chances to get a chrono break. Because you predict three, it's not there, you can skip that, that's four. And then you play the second time trick, and that's another four possibilities upon on burst speed to get a chrono break. It's so good. It's so much fun, and you saw how fucking awesome that can be. I don't know why I haven't foiled this shit yet. Goddamn. This is the deck to play. And, you know, obviously it's a little bit different from the Jinx variant, because we also run Burima in this one. Actually, no, the Jinx list also runs this. But the problem that I have with the Jinx list is, um, you can check the last uh, video, the Echo Jinx uh, video. I don't think Jinx leveled once or did anything. Even the Jinx Echo list is all reliant on you leveling Echo. Jinx is kind of secondary. She can deal some damage in when, you ha when, your, hand is, uh, when your hand is, like, completely empty and then she can have like the smd the super mega death smr the super mega death smdr the super mega death rocket and she can deal some damage to the enemy board one to everyone and four to the nexus and then you have two draws upon next turn if she doesn't die which usually she does um but yeah everything is just reliant on you leveling echo the thing is if you don't draw into any predicts you've seen that too it can be a slog it can be really hard to come back but we actually just managed because the enemy also drew kind of bad can't vouch for what happens um, when they also draw good. Obviously, can't really vouch for that one. But the Zolo Echo list is definitely my absolute favorite one. Uh, it worked wonders. Um, let me check, actually, because I've shown you all the games. So I showed you all games I had today. Nine matches. 77.78% win rate, my friends. We only lost against Deep. Which was winnable, even though we had a pretty good draw, so maybe we're just unfavored against that. And Samira Fizz, which is not running rampant too much, but everything else we beat. We beat Lurk, which apparently we have a bad matchup against, which apparently is not true. And yeah, like the Garen decks were a little bit weird, but this guy, Inner for Hire, also actually had like a banner at the beginning, so 
I don't know, maybe that's something. Um, but yeah, we also beat Nora Vega, Vega, Viego, which is some somewhat of a meta staple at this point. But my friends, 77.78% in nine matches, that sounds pretty goddamn good and definitely climbable. So if Mastering Rune Terra says play Jinx Echo, I say uh-uh, to quote Drop Border, you play, e play Mono Echo. Do it right now, play four, five, four games and then tell me how good it feels, you know? Because, I mean, again, Jinx Echo is cool, but it's not focused around enough on just Echo. And this one focuses solely on Echo. And given that you predict, you always have to, you know, we can pick between like three different cards. Um, it's like, okay, but, but what if you don't draw Echo? But that's the thing, you have predicts, you have uh, Bakai, you have zero mana predicts, you have one mana predicts, you have a lot of one mana predicts, actually. So getting Echo shouldn't be a problem, usually. Again, there is poss possibilities that you can't play him leveled, but then you have Heatless Resurrection. So, he is coming back always. He is there to stick on the board. You know? That's the thing. But yeah, um, that was it for the video. Rambled, or rambled a bit or long enough, I think. Um, and maybe I... I don't know. I think I fanboyed enough. But yeah. I'm definitely going to be playing that more on stream. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure about that. So, yeah. If you fancy some solo echo, then definitely check out the streams because this guy is definitely in my priority list all the way up here. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, try Mono Echo out for yourself because goddamn it's fun. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I, and I hope to see you in the next stream or in the next video.